Overall, this one is one of my highest recommended cheapies. It has stayed there. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on this Bentley's Momentum Intense. Now this is a fragrance that I really, really, really enjoyed the first time that I tried it. And it was, you know, one of the highest recommended cheap fragrances that I had smelled at the time. And to be honest guys, this one still is for sure. I mean, probably in the top five um, most recommended cheap fragrances that I've ever come across. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump into the notes here. Where the notes we got are lavender, elamai, bergamot, ambergris, tonka bean, geranium, amberwood, sandalwood, and musk. A long list of notes there, but to be honest, guys, this just smells very reminiscent of CH Men or CH Men Privé. I guess technically it does smell a little bit closer to CH Men. I have smelled CH Men a few times, but I own CH Men Privé. I love CH Men Privé. So initially it reminds me of both of them, but technically I guess it would be closer to CH Men, which is just kind of like a sweet, almost boozy type of fragrance with a little bit of spices. It's just really, really, really enjoyable, um, really likable, dark, sweet, boozy, just, you know, one of those type of fragrances and it just does it so, so well. And it's actually recreated very, very well here with Bentley's Momentum Intense on top of that as well. It is a brand that everybody knows when I try to resell fragrances or, you know, I'm trying to get into fragrances. If a fragrance isn't like a, a name that somebody knows, everyone is so skeptical, even though it may smell so, so good. Us people who have dived deep into it, we know that you can get a great smell smelling fragrance in just a random jar that somebody created and it could smell way better than designers. But for some reason, I feel like it just is kind of completes the package, especially for newer people getting into fragrances or, you know, if you're getting this as a gift, you know, everybody knows this brand Bentley and it actually is the real brand. So, so anyways, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it has great quality for a designer. Now, this is just right on par with all those 50, 60, 70, $80 designer fragrances. To me, it doesn't really push into the niche kind of category. I'll get into that into the cons, but I almost really even wouldn't put it as a con because it just smells so, so good and I think I looked at this before I did this review and it was floating around 25 to 30 dollars I just can't really find too much of a flaw with this fragrance it's just so so good but the quality of the juice is a fantastic for being a designer it is affordable very very cheap obviously in the pros but on top of it being affordable there's no real corners cut and its name brand just really hard to believe this one is just kind of like a sweet boozy type fragrance very similar to CH man and it's going to excel in the cold weather and I I don't really know whether to put it as a pro or a con. This one has really, really good projection. Again, it's not gonna be like five hours, like the most beast mode niche type of fragrance, but for being a designer, this one is very, very good. I feel like I get around two hours of projection on this and it's a very, you know, robust, clean type of fragrance. So I would say that it's not like a beast mode, but it does have better projection than I expected on top of it smelling pretty clean for being a designer. If I was too young for this one, I would definitely look forward to growing into it because it just smells so, so good. To be honest, guys, I don't really have too, too many cons with this one. Uh, one of them I could think is that it's probably not the best in the warm weather. It just is kind of a little bit sweeter, a little bit more spicy, and that's just uh, typically more of a cool weather scent, but that's not really taking anything away from it because most scents are kind of geared towards a specific season. Another con of this, I think it's not really a con, but it just doesn't smell niche. However, no designer really smells like a niche sweet style fragrance. But at the same time, if you're somebody who's used to those niche designers, like, you know, pretty much all the perfumes de Marley line, I have like a little, most of them have like a little bit of sweetness and just a unique tint to them that only niche fragrances have. This one's just very designer, but again, it's very hard for me to put that as a con. And then another con was that it's probably not for like a real, real young guy. I would say this is like, you could probably wear this around 21, you know, maybe up to 25. If you want to wear this at whatever age, then you can go ahead and do it. But it does smell a little bit more gentlemanly and a little bit more older. But like I said, it smells so sexy at the same time that it doesn't really smell like, oh man, that's just like, like for a random old guy. It does smell very good in my opinion. So anyways, guys, if I were to give it a smell rating, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Really, really enjoy this one. Likeability, I'm going to have to give it an 8. And that's just only because... It does have a, it's, I don't wanna say brooding, but it has a definite manly presence to it. It's weird, it's not the most likable type of fragrance, but then it is at the same time, it's hard to describe. It's in a style of fragrance that's kind of mature, 
gentlemanly, but at the same time, it is pretty likable, so I had to give it an eight out of 10. Longevity and projection, I'm gonna give this a 7.5 to an eight, which is really, really good. If a fragrance has terrible projection, I will rate it as low as about a 4.5, so this one is very, very good. Overall, this one is one of my highest recommended cheapies. It has stayed there, I mean, pretty much for anything in that cheap, boozy, spicy type fragrance. I can't really think of one to recommend more than this in the price range. Really, really enjoy this one. What do you guys think of Bentley's Momentum Intense? I'd be very interested to see down below, but we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.